Now to a developing story. Zimbabwe's Vice President Kembo Mohadi is stepping down in the midst of a sexual allegation scandal. He says he's doing this to spare the government embarrassment. Mohadi is vehemently denying claims that he's had intimate relations with married women and college students. But let's get the details now. I'm joined by our Zimbabwe correspondent Pindai Dube. Good evening Pindai. Just exactly tell us more about this resignation. What is the vice president alleged to have done? Uh, the vice president is alleged to have been involved with the different uh, married women and also some students, uh, college students, were on government scholarship. And um, uh, Zim Live, a local newspaper online, has been running these stories week in, week out, saying that uh, some of the people, he, some of the women which he is involved with are, are, are wives of his aides, his bodyguards. And uh, so... Uh, he, he resigned this evening. He wrote a letter to the president, Emerson Munangakwa, where he said this is, uh, he, he, he has done some soul searching and he has seen that it's good for him to resign and save the image of the Zimbabwe government. He says uh, this uh, uh, it's unfortunate, but he's not a coward. Mm. He's, he's claiming that it's a, a bit of a smear campaign, uh, information distortion, he says voice cloning, sponsored spooking, political sabotage, and he's being abused by his enemies, um, and they're trying to blackmail him. Uh, that's uh, what the uh, Zimbabwean Vice President Kemba Mohadi is saying in response to all these allegations. Has the president made any comment as yet? No, not yet, Sally. There's been no response from the president yet. But we expect maybe tonight or tomorrow morning the president might say something uh, about his resignation. But so far we haven't heard from him at all. So uh, this could be uh, a man who's had multiple affairs, uh, inappropriate, but on the surface it doesn't seem illegal uh, uh, or any suggestions is my understanding of any sexual abuse at this point um, what what is what are people in the streets of Zimbabwe saying what are political pundits saying is this an attempt to oust him for political reasons or is it just that he has caused great embarrassment if indeed he is uh, guilty of these allegations Yes, there have been mixed reactions by Zimbabweans on Facebook, on social media, actually on Facebook, Twitter, etc. There have been some are praising him actually for for stepping down, while some are saying this guy should have uh, resigned way back or when the stories of his sexual scandals started coming out. So actually. But there are rumors that uh, there are some in ZANU PF, in his party ZANU PF, who are eyeing his position, although it's not confirmed. We've had names being thrown around that uh, some people are eyeing his position. So we are waiting yet to hear from uh, is there, if there are people who, who are eyeing his position and who are trying to push him out. Well, thank you very much for bringing us that news from Zimbabwe. That's our correspondent in Harare, Pindai Dube, telling us about the resignation of Zimbabwe's Vice President Kembo Mohadi. Uh, he's strongly denying that a number of uh, sexual allegations have been made against him.